Well, new at 10 o'clock after months of being out of compliance with state standards for jail conditions, another man has died after a medical emergency in the Harris County Jail. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry has details on this latest death. That inmate died around 530 this morning after an apparent medical issue in the medical ward here at the jail. It comes just months after state inspectors said the jail is out of compliance for not seeing inmates with medical issues fast enough. Inside the Harris County Jail, at least a dozen inmates have died so far this year, according to the Texas Jail Project. The latest death Thursday morning after 62 year old Raymond Cooper had a medical emergency and had to be rushed to the hospital where he died. For the last year, the jail has been out of compliance with the state's jail standards earlier this year, failing an inspection because inmates were not seen by medical within 48 hours as required. The most recent failed inspection came last month for holding inmates in the booking process for longer than the 48 hour maximum, not observing inmates often enough, particularly those known to be assaultive or mentally ill and not meeting staffing requirements for one jailer to every 48 inmates. In my June letter, I also made the case for investing more in our detention officers. Last month, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez asked county commissioners to consider a consultant's recommendation to increase detention officer pay by at least 12% to match comparable agencies in the region. The inspectors place the blame squarely on inadequate staffing. We don't have enough people to keep the jail safe, period. We have 178 job vacancies and little chance of filling them with a starting pay of $19.99 per hour. The jail population exceeds 9,500 people. Advocates have called it a human rights crisis within the jail walls and say the county hasn't done enough to address chronic overcrowding. And to help with overcrowding, the county is considering spending more than $37 million in the upcoming budget cycle to continue sending prisoners to other facilities. Commissioners are expected to vote on that budget later this month. Reporting downtown, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.